Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. Hey, hey, I'm James Spann. This is the July 4th edition, Independence Day, of the Weather Extreme video. And uh, weather, pretty much what you expect to, for this time of the year. Sun, heat, and storms in the afternoon. Now, let's take a look at some of the Skycam shots uh, doing this update today about mid-morning. Yeah, slept in a little bit. Uh, that's the uh, Fayette Skycam, bright, sunny morning up in uh, northwest Alabama. There's the Demopolis Sky Cam, and don't you know that river will be hopping with boaters a little later today. And the Gulf of Mexico, that's the uh, Gulf Shore Sky Cam. Looks a little cloudy down there to start off this day, but uh, the sun will be breaking out soon. And, and if you're headed down to the Gulf Coast this week, again, very standard weather. About six to eight hours of sunshine each day with a chance of scattered storms and highs on the immediate coast at or just over 90 Water temperatures are running in the mid to upper 80s from Panama City over to Gulf Shores. Here's the uh, water vapor satellite shot. And you can see really the higher heights are west of here. And uh, the heights are coming down ever so slightly in minor variations. And temperatures aloft and those height levels can make a big difference in the coverage of storms in the afternoon. We saw a definite increase yesterday and last night. And looks like we'll uh, see more of the same in coming days. Highs yesterday. Oh, boy. Uh, looks like uh, 104 was the uh, peak heat there in Oklahoma, out in the deserts, uh, close to 109. And around here, highs were mostly in the mid-90s yesterday. Check the watch warning map this morning. Things pretty quiet. Just a couple of uh, flood issues to the north and west. Convective outlook today. Slight risks over northeast Tennessee, back over to the mouth of the Chesapeake Bay. Also across the High Plains and over parts of northern New England. And day two, slight risk over the nation's heartland. And understand that, that, you know, every day this week, the storms that develop on a hot summer afternoon in this environment can produce tremendous amounts of lightning. A wet microburst in spots, that's, you know, enough wind to knock down trees and power lines. And a very heavy rain, uh, but it's scattered. And nobody knows in the morning where they're going to pop up in the afternoon. That's just... Unfortunately, the limitation of where we are in the science now. Here's a QPF chart. Expected rain for the next five days. Valid through Friday evening at 7 o'clock. And look at those numbers coming up. That's suggesting rainfall amounts of about one and a half inches here. And, of course, you know, the, the distribution is very uneven on a daily basis. But if you average out the rain over the next five days, I think most folks ought to get a decent storm or two along the way. And we'll take that. And the tropical weather outlook, once again, it's a very quiet Atlantic basin, so no hurricanes to worry about this 4th of July, 2011. Start with the uh, GFS. This is the 06Z run at 7 o'clock this evening. I'm sorry, 7 o'clock tomorrow evening. Nope, I take it back, 7 o'clock this evening. You see, when I do these things at a weird time, it always confuses me. This is 7 o'clock this evening, Central Daylight Time. All right, uh... And again, a little shortwave energy off to the uh, uh, northwest of here on the flank of the ridge. And that might kick up some pretty decent storms later today or tonight. And uh, all these synoptic maps are going to look the same. But uh, again, where the storms do form, they could uh, be pretty strong, like the ones we saw yesterday and last night. So, And as always, lightning is always the biggest issue with these things, especially on the 4th of July. A chance that many of them will die down by 9 o'clock, but there's no guarantee. These things should linger into the late night hours and spots, hopefully not over a big fireworks show. Uh, tomorrow, same thing. Uh, and high should be in the low 90s, low to mid 90s, by the way. Same thing tomorrow. And, and really, synoptically speaking, things won't change much. There's Wednesday, Thursday. I promise these are all different maps. They just look the same. And Friday. So each day, uh, morning sun, a chance of afternoon storms, highs, highs low, maybe mid-90s in spots, hot, hazy, and humid. We'll go back to the upper levels as we start the weekend. This is uh, Saturday evening at 7. Heights have come up a little bit. Uh, the 588 contour goes up to Chicago, and winds will your light and variable, but still there's a lot of tropical moisture trapped underneath that thing. And uh, those higher precipitable water values uh, should result in at least a few storms Saturday afternoon. And the same thing on Sunday. Monday of next week, uh, looks like the coverage might increase a bit. So, you know, you, it's pretty standard summer stuff. Low to mid-90s, hot, hazy, humid. 
Sunshine at times. Look out for those big afternoon and evening storms that blow up, and some could linger into the late night hours. We'll go to the end of the forecast on July 19th. The nastiness, the 594 ring, is out over the four corners in the southwest. And uh, again, we've got a general weakness here. And look at that, some type of tropical low sitting down there at Mobile Bay. You know, at some point, you got to figure the tropics will be coming alive, and we'll just... Uh, See if maybe that happens in a couple of weeks like that. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here will be tomorrow morning. We're on the holiday schedule today, just one a day. It'll be up tomorrow morning by uh, 7 a.m. And if you're local to us, yes, we'll be out there tonight working at ABC 3340 on the news at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful 4th of July holiday, and God bless. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.